let's talk about Earth's seasons. And this is sort of my homage to the uh, misunderstanding of the seasons that many people have. Um, people misunderstand seasons perhaps because they've never really given it much thought or because they compare the cool and heat of summer, of winter and summer, to standing next to or further away from a fire. Uh, maybe we just resort to the easiest or what seems like the easiest explanation, even though if we think about it a little bit, it really makes no sense at all. But if you don't understand the seasons, or if you've been misquoted about the seasons, or if you've given somebody the wrong answer about the seasons, fear not, and, and don't feel bad, because in a survey of 21, 23 Harvard graduates and faculty, 21 of them got it wrong. And the reason they got it wrong is this. They explained the seasons as occurring because the Earth was either closer to or further away from the sun. That seems reasonable, right? If you stand closer to a fire, it's warmer. If you stand further away from the fire, it's cooler. But you have to remember, go back to that diagram of the hand and the fire and the marshmallow. The heat that we're receiving from the sun isn't the heat of direct contact from with the sun, because if you were to touch the sun, you'd be instantly melted. It's not the heat from convection of some fluid, because space is a vacuum. And if you were to go out into outer space, it's freezing. It's frigid in outer space. So the heat that's coming from the sun isn't heat. It's electromagnetic radiation. It's light. That light takes eight minutes to reach us and then takes you know some few fractions of seconds to go from the exosphere down to the surface of the Earth. But it's the absorbing of that radiation by Earth's surface that really is what's causing the heat. Okay, so now that we kind of have an understanding well, where heat comes from, now let's think about the seasons. When it's winter in Southern California, what season is it in Australia? Well, if you answered summer, yes, it's summer down there when it's winter here. Australia is on our planet, right? We, Australia and Southern California, connected to the same planet. Well, how can it be winter here and summer there if it's distance from the sun that's causing the seasons? And the simple answer is that distance is not the reasons for the seasons, okay? So, let me just repeat that. The Earth-Sun distance is not the reason for the seasons. It is not true that Earth is closer to the sun in summertime because if that was true, it would still be summer in Australia. And we wouldn't have opposite southern and northern hemisphere seasons. And when the sun is further away from Earth, it doesn't mean winter all over. So, in fact, that explanation fails us in explaining why we have the seasons that we have on Earth. And if you're like me, I love the seasons. We, we're all familiar with the seasons. Winter, spring, summer, and fall bring memories and thoughts of different kinds of activities. Wintertime we might love because of snow and going up in the mountains. I love winter because it brings February, which brings Valentine's Day and my birthday, um, which is soon after Valentine's Day, in case you're thinking of getting me a gift. Spring brings the blooms of flowers and uh, uh, lots of activity in nature, and it's just a beautiful time. It means we're done with the short days of, of winter, and it starts to warm up. So spring is a time for love and reproduction and all those good kinds of things. Summertime brings us those beautiful, lazy days at the beach, and I just love the summer for that reason. And fall brings my favorite holiday, which is Halloween. And maybe you go to Not Scary Farm to celebrate Halloween. Fall brings also the changing of the leaves and the falling of the leaves and it brings kind of a nice cool temperature here in Southern California. So we're all familiar with the seasons and we all have different memories associated with those and different activities that we plan. Why is it that we misunderstand what causes the seasons? We're gonna figure that out in just a minute. Here's some local pictures 
out in the desert, Huntington Beach, local leaves falling, and this kind of takes us through the seasons.